Hi everybody, welcome to today's purse trip and sale. Just let me know I went live. Um, actually you guys, the haul I did this morning, I never really do this, two videos in a day um, where I do a thrifting and then a sale video right after. But you guys are blowing up my Instagram with wanting to know prices of certain bags, you see. So that makes me happy. That makes me know that you're very interested in what I've got. So instead of getting back to everybody on Instagram, which is I don't have, I, it's going to take me hours to get back to everybody, I just decided, come on here real quick. Let's show you what I have. Let's get them listed so you guys can take them. Take them. Take them off my hands. So I hope everybody's doing good today. How is, how is, how is you guys? How are you guys today? Hello, all my ladies popping on. I see everybody coming on right now. So I'm going to go ahead and get the logistics out. I just want to let anybody know that's new. Um, welcome. All of my bags I'm showing you in this video are for sale. They are first come, first serve, and they're going to be listed under this video after my live is over. Um, please ask all questions before you purchase a bag because once you do purchase it, it's final sale. No exchanges, no returns, no exceptions, period. Um, so I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. Um, I ship U.S. only. I'm sorry for those who feel left out. I know I get that comment all the time. People are feeling left out. I apologize, but I do only ship within the U.S. And um, I accept PayPal only. You don't have to have a PayPal account. You can still pay directly through PayPal, through your credit card, debit, however you, you, ever, however you choose to do it. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and get started and show you guys the bags that you everybody's inquiring in. Um, yeah, so let's just get started, you guys. So these were on the haul, and these are the ones that I'm getting most comments from. The first one being my authentic Dooney and Burke. Um, it's a Safiano red leather tote, brand new with tags. And the plastic is still on the handles. It's just a real, excuse me, I got the hiccups. It's just a really pretty um, cross grain leather with the gold tone hardware, the brown leather handles, um, the zipper on the back. Here are the Dooney and Burke tags. And then the inside has a magnetic magnetic snap closure. This is a little hang tag on it. And the inside looks like this. Super pretty. Very clean. This is all stuffing I keep to keep the shape. Um, let's see. It's got the tags over here that shows the authentic uh, the number on the side and then it's got the Dooney and Brick label on that side. So if you're very, if you're interested, then we have this one. Like I said, these will be listed below. And this is my Dooney and Burke tote. My day is going very well. Thank you, Barbara. Oh, you're welcome, Irene. No problem. Okay, next uh, bag of interest that I had, I think 20 people, around 20, 25 people messaged me on this one. This is the sack in brand new condition, and it is an embossed leather crossbody with brass stud detail. Here's your little sack hang tag. It has a slip pocket on the back for your phone. Then the inside has uh, two open pockets and a slip pocket. And then this is a large compartment. It's got the zipper flap with pretty, really pretty zipper pulls. This one doesn't look as if it's ever been worn. You can use it as a shoulder bag or a crossbody. And it's got the really pretty leather strap at the top for comfort. So this is the sack embossed embossed bag. There you guys. Now you can see it a little bit better hopefully, but it is in excellent new condition. Okay. Um, this one I've had a lot of 
um, comments on. This is a CC bag, a little handbag quilted. Uh, it's got the little zipper top closure. This is also in a brand new condition with a zipper pocket. And it is vegan leather, which means it's not genuine leather, in case you're wondering. And the hardware on it is a gunmetal color. And something really cool I'm going to show you guys. You can make any of these bags I'm showing you. I'm not selling this chain. This is mine. You can take any type of chain. I use this a lot on bags, for instance, on this little bag here. You can crossbody it. All you have to do is attach the little lobster claw onto the hook and then a lobster claw hook on the other side. Over here, and then you can use it as a crossbody, and then you have the adorable little chain with it. So you can do that to all of your bags. Just go on Amazon if you're looking for chains. You can get every color, every, you can get resin, you can get any type of metal, you can get any type of size of the link, you can get thick links, small links, um, gold tone, it, everything you want you'll find on Amazon, and use them on your bags. Have fun with it, you know? Get creative, and if you have a bag that isn't a crossbody, make it a crossbody if that's something that you would like to do. This one being an example. So this is my little quilted CC bag. And like I said, this is not for sale. I use it on my purses. Okay, then let's put this over here actually. I have, here's another one. This one is another one I would put the long crossbody chain in. This is in like new condition. This is from the Poppy Collection from Coach. And it's a grayish taupe background and a sateen material with a really pretty sparkly C lining. It's got silver hardware and a lavender satin interior. Okay, it's got your little coach hang tag, and this is a gunmetal hang tag. And then you open it, and you have the really pretty, like a French purple interior. I said lavender, but it's more of a French purple. There's the Creed with the zipper and then your pockets on the other side. And I'll show you, this looks amazing with the chain crossbody as well, because this one didn't come with a crossbody, so I would just clip it up. And then you have a chain crossbody and it would look so cute on this bag, right? So you could crossbody it with this chain. So this is my Coach Poppy handbag. And it's in excellent, brand new condition. Okay. So I'm just letting you know, uh, these are the ones that everybody is commenting on in my uh, Instagram. So if you're interested in, in any of these, go ahead and grab them because they're gonna go quickly. I think they're gonna go quickly because these are the ones everybody's asking about. This one in particular, this is the Rebecca Minkoff and it is in black python. It has the really nice chain strap, crossbody strap. Show you up close. This is a really, really rare bag. It says Rebecca Minkoff right there. And this is the moto bag. It's got little tassels on the back. The, the handles have whip stitching on them. It is leather, or it's a python, you guys can see. And then this is a zip pocket on the front. And it does have gunmetal and silver hardware on this one. The inside has um, three open pockets and a zipper pocket. It says Rebecca Minkoff right there. The bottom has feet. 
and it's just a really really it's a unique Rebecca Minkoff look I mean it's got it's got the if you guys can see it's got the texture to it where you rub it this way and the scales you can feel them it's just a really cool bag and then if you like you can take this strap off you don't have to use the strap you can just use it as a handbag if you like okay so that's my Rebecca Minkoff uh, the next one I've had a lot of questions on is this pink pebbled leather Christina bag. You can also make this a crossbody if you like. You just unsnap it, readjust it with the lobster claw. It can be a crossbody. The kettle leather trim. It's got the little koala clasp. And then you open it up with a zipper. And it looks like this on the inside with a zipper pocket and an open pocket. It says Christina right there on the label as well. And so, yeah, use this as a baguette or a crossbody. Silver hardware. Really pretty leather. It's embossed Christina on the back. And it's just a really pretty pink really pretty soft pink can I try on the Rebecca Minkoff sure Next is, oh, this is the one I said, I'm keeping it. Well, guess what? I used it one day and I don't want it anymore. I changed my mind <laughs> because that's how I am. If it, if I don't, if I get a bag and I don't like every single specific about it, then I will get rid of it. So this is the Brighton I showed yesterday and there was nothing in particular other than I'm just not in the mood for it. Maybe I'm not exactly sure, but I am going to go ahead and sell this. I paid up for it. It was one that was hanging on the little wall with the clasp on it where it was very expensive Where I when I got it, when I thrifted it. But you have your Brighton Heart Charm. The zipper pull is the adorable little silver flower with leather tassel. Um, it's got one, two, three pockets on the front. Then it's got your main compartment. And the main compartment looks like, let me take my little thing out. It's got a key lanyard and then one, two open pockets and a zipper. Here's the Brighton Creed. Sure, I will do that. Um, on the Rebecca. I think it's going to be too small for you, Jenny. I'll still give you the measurements, though. Okay. And then it's got this leather detail that connects to the really pretty silver strap. That's the strap adjustment. It's very pretty buckle. So there's a lot, a lot of detail on this little pebbled leather crossbody. Okay, so if you're interested, this is my Brighton. And like I said, this one was this one was a doozy. I paid a lot for this one. Okay, Rebecca Minkoff measurements are. Get my measuring tape here. Okay, going across the bottom. This way. 13 and a half. Thirteen and a half. Eight. Okay, thirteen and a half by thirteen and a half by eight for this bag here. Yeah, it's too small for you, Jenny. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. I'm not going to lie. 
I, I, I don't think, I don't think it's big enough for you. If you like that white one I sent that you bought that you took to the doctor, then you did this one. You're not going to like it is way too small for you. But if you feel like you want to go a little bit smaller, then you might love it. Yes. The Brighton is gorgeous. It really is. Um, here's another one I'm getting a lot of inquiries on, and this is my vintage handbag, 1950s, clasp lock, little top handle in like a nylon, um, here's the material, that's what it looks like. Okay, then you've got the bottom and the side looks like this. This is definitely a dress up or dress down, any way you like it. Honey, you gotta close your door. I know, I'm up. Okay. I'm watching Creed. You're watching what? Creed. What's Creed? The movie with Rocky Balboa. Uh, when he's an old guy and come he, say he hello trains real the other fast. Can't be rude. You gotta come say hi. Here's my sweetheart, my baby Ooh. boy. <laughs> he's off work today. He's enjoying his day off. So he just ate Taco Bell and now he's watching the movie Creed. Okay. Maybe we can do something if you want when we're done or something. Like what? I have no idea. <laughs> you want to do something? Or I, I got to think about what to cook for dinner. Yeah, pizza. Did I sell the Cartier bag, the red one? I surely I'll did. Bit, yeah, that's fine. Well, leave it where she can yeah. get out and Stormy can come in. Yep, Cartier sold. I should change my name to Purse on Demand. He's a sweet boy. He really is a sweet boy. I love my kids, man. Heart of gold, all of them. Kristen said hi, Bubba. You guys, I'm tired today. Can you guys tell I'm tired today? Randy and I had a cram-packed weekend. It was a lot, a lot of fun, but we spent so much time with our friends. Um, Harley tripping. I'm going to start calling that Harley tripping. And I'm tired. <laughs> So this is the inside, and this one is by Bosac USA. There's a couple little pockets over here. One, two, and then a little slip pocket over here, lined in satin. Okay, so if you're interested in my 50s bag, it could be yours as well. Let's see, am I missing any questions? And it fits like a lot. Can you guys see? My hand in there, it fits. It's it fits a lot. It's a big bag. Okay. No, what did I say? Thank you, Kristen. Alrighty. Oh, here's another one. I pulled all the ones that, I, like I said, that I got questions on. This is the mint green sack. Um, it's kind of like a muted mint, almost like a sea foam with nickel hardware. And it's the exact same style as this one, except it's in the green color. So everything on it is the same, and it too is in beautiful, like new condition. Same pocket, same opening. Interior is a little different color wise, I think. It's got the pretty tassel pulls. And then this is the same as the other bag. The pretty lining on the inside. And in case you're new here, please know all of my sack bags, actually all my bags go quite quickly. So if there's something you want, make sure you grab it as soon as it pops up because I do thrift these items. Sometimes I find duplicates, sometimes I don't. Um, but it's just one of those things that if you get it, it's kind of like the lottery. You get it, you want it, awesome, because they may not come around again. Um, and that's the truth. Not just saying that's the real truth. Okay, here's the wallets. Everybody was asking about the wallets, the eel skin wallets. I have black and I have burgundy. And they are exactly the same style, same pockets. Brand spanking new condition. Well, Sylvia, that's a good question. Then... It's got credit card slots, a zipper pocket, slip pocket. Um, one thing I will ask you guys when some when you guys ask, hey, do you still have that vintage purse? 
Well, over the time, I've probably had a thousand different vintage purses. That just goes with every bag. So I need a little bit more information. I can't just go off, do I have a vintage purse that I used to have? That doesn't go because my room right now is filled of about a hundred or more bags. Um, ones I've sold, I've sold hundreds of bags in the past. So if there's something you really, really want, then you need to either send me a screenshot from one that you've seen or give me explicit details because I can't just say, yeah, I still have it. Maybe I don't. Maybe I say, no, I don't have it. Maybe I do. So please take that into consideration. So these are the wallets, black eel skin or burgundy eel skin, brand, brand new. Okay. The next one I'd like to show you guys is, this is another one that's super cute. This is, and getting a lot of comments on, the mustard little patent leather handbag, coach, Boquetta leather trim. Okay, there is that. If you're talking about the Epi leather, yes, that sold right away. Then it's got a pocket on the back. And then it's got the cute little zipper that has the lavender interior. There's the Creed, and that's a zipper pocket. And then you have two open pockets over here. And again, this is when your very cool chain strap would come into play. You just clip it on. Oopsie. Clip it and clip it. And then you have yourself not only a handbag, but a really, really stylish crossbody bag as well. So do look into chains, you guys, off of um, Amazon. You'll find everything you're looking for on Amazon for sure. Okay, so you could use it as a crossbody. Thank you, Peggy. Take it off because it's got to stay with me. And then I also have um, my vintage, also you might have been talking about the vintage carpet bag, the black one that I'm keeping for myself. I still have that, obviously, because I'm keeping it for myself. That's when I had put for sale probably two or three videos and no one purchased it. And then as soon as I put it back here during one of my sales, everybody wanted to purchase it. But I was like, too late. I'm keeping it now. You know, that happens too. So if you're interested, this is a very cute Mustard color, coach, oopsie, coach bag. And patent leather. Um, okay, what do you say we do a surprise bag now? I'm going to let you guys throw out names of bags that maybe if I have it, I'll pull it. I'll pull one. I'm just going to do one. Um, the person that has, the, the people that request the most of the same bag, I will be glad to pull it for you if I have it. So go ahead and um, start letting me know something that you might be looking for. And the first one I spot, Ferragamo sold. I don't have any Brahmin. You guys have to grab them when I show them because if it's something you saw in the past, nine chances out of ten, I don't have it. until I get tired of it, exactly. Although the um, I'll sh the bag I'm talking about, it's such a rare one that I'll, I probably won't. Ferragamo sold. Dunium Burke Dillon, I don't know what a Dillon is. Um, I've got that one that I showed a couple days ago. Is that Was that a Dillon, the black patent one? Brown pack pack brown backpack. What's that? The one are you talking about? The brown one that I just had in my haul the other day. If you're talking about that one, that one sold. Let me know in the comments here if that was the one you're talking about. The lag must be pretty bad right now.
Oh, okay. I'll keep an eye out. I'll I'll Google what a Dylan is and I'll I'll keep an eye out. I run you know what you guys? I run across Dooney and Burke all the time, but I have found that Dooney and Burke is very hard sell. Um, not many people are looking for Dooney and Burke so much. <laughs> Darn, no Patricia Nash. Yes, I do have Michael Kors. Are you looking for um a crossbody? Let, let me have more um, information on the Michael Kors you're looking for. Because I have to know where to go to pull it. I'm trying to think which ones I have. Oh, is that right, Peggy? You think so, huh? You've messaged me twice on Instagram in different bags. Yeah, that's happening. I'm not getting all the messages. That's why I'm here today. Large tote style bag, any brand, Betsy Johnson. Okay, let's do this one. First, we'll do the Betsy Johnson, and it is actually a large tote. So I did show this one in a previous sell and previous sell it sells video. So I'll go ahead and show you again. It's black, baby pink and white. It has the little, pretty little um, quilted flowers on the front. It's in brand new condition. Baby pink handles, gold toned hardware. There's that, and then here's the inside. And then over here you have a zipper pocket and you have two slip pockets. And then here is the bottom, which is baby pink as well. Okay. So this is Betsy Johnson, and then this is just a black tote, and this is a really, really gorgeous Perlina, um, smooth, luscious leather, large black tote, silver hardware. The handles are in perfect condition. Vegan leather on the Betsy. This is genuine leather. This is Perlina. It's got a zipper on the back. It's got a large center zip compartment that goes this entire size of the bag. And then on this side, you have all kinds of organizational pockets. One, two, your phone will fit in there. And then you also have a zipper pocket. And this beauty is a Perlina, which is a very uh, expensive leather brand. And then there's also the zipper on the back. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and call that a sale. So, Cindy, you have your PayPal open and ready where it says to add a note. Do I put the wallet? Uh, yeah. What you're going to do, Cindy, is on the note section. Make sure you give me your shipping address, the exact address you want it to go to. Please don't, please, please, please make sure you get your address correct because I'm in the middle of a P.O. box change. And if the address is wrong, your, your package is going to get lost if it were to come back. Um, and then also add your item purchased, which would be whichever wallet. Make sure you say, if it's one of the eelskin wallets, say burgundy eelskin or black eelskin. And then, like I said, your shipping address and you're good to go. You're having such a bad day today. I'm sorry, Lori. Okay, so um, do I have any other questions for anybody? Any, any other questions that I can answer for you before I get off and get these items listed? I'll wait because the lag is pretty, pretty bad. Okay, then um, what's, oh, and Cindy, what you're going to do is after I list this, after I list this, 
make sure the little red dot, if the list see the little red dot next to your to the wallet, that means it's already been sold, so not to send payment. I do put sold next to the item as well. Name of the last one, this one here is a Perlina. It's beautiful, right? To me, this really looks like the fossil uh, vintage reissue. The material on the Betsy, yeah, I, I told her it's a vegan leather. <coughs> okay, <coughs> I'm sorry guys, I choked on my stuff. <coughs> so what it is, Sylvia, if you're new, I'm not sure, but <coughs> I'm sorry, what will happen after this video is I will list all the items for sale and it's first come, first serve. So if you want it, be quick to the key and you'll get it. If not, make sure you look for that little red dot that says sold. <clears throat> Perlina, yes. The black one is a Perlina. The all black is Perlina. Any more questions, you guys? Sorry about the lag. <clears throat> Boy. Well, welcome, Sylvia. It's nice to have you. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and go, and I'm going to get these bags listed for you. Hopefully that was um, any of the questions you had. Peacock wallet sold. <clears throat> yeah, for real, Tara. <coughs> All right, you guys, take it easy, and I'll see you on tomorrow's video. Bye, guys.